Hello, the plant that you are looking at here is called a rush, for its common name, and it's got no relationship with the action of a rush, and it's also got no relationship with a gold rush or whatsoever. This plant is recognizable by its cylindrical foliage. Its foliage kind of resembles that of the pine tree, but they are just a lot longer and more slender. Look, it is. It has no blade or whatsoever. It's almost like a cylindrical thing, and it's also got a pointy tip that's pointing the sky, or somewhere up above. Yes.、Um, This plant is mostly grown on、uh, swampy, wet soils, and they are found in abundance in swamplands in certain parts of the world. In fact, they act as a pioneer species in swamplands and marshlands. So it is a wise choice to plant them if you are gardening on a place, a region with really swampy, I mean clay-like, poor draining soil. A little fun story about how I got this plant is that back in February of 2018, my parents brought some orchids as a house plant, and they told me to help maintain those orchids and、uh, to cut off the dead foliage and see if there are any weeds growing on it. And I guess about five to six weeks later, after they brought the orchids. Uh, I saw some weird-looking weeds started appearing on the orchid moss.、Mm. Those weeds are at first I thought that was a juvenile conifer germ germinating in there, but、uh, later I removed it from the moss and then planted it in a small pot like this, and then they turn out to be not to develop a stem or any woody structures. They just keep on growing these cylindrical, long, slender foliages, and I realized that it was actually a type of rush. I believe the foliage of the rush is actually hollow, but this is just way too narrow for me to see if I cut it open.、Uh, and this plant, in the overall adaptations. It、kind of resembles the horsetail weed or the a horsetail plant that is actually closely related to ferns, and they reproduce by spores instead of seeds.、Um, another fun fact, a bonus fact about the rush plant is that they are, were used as a source of fuel. I mean, a source of、uh, lighting up indoor areas, just like a candle would. Back in the days before the electrical lighting was invented, because of their abundance and their cheapness,、uh, these rushes were often harvested in the wild by the local peasants, and their foliage would often be cut off and dried underneath the sun. So they would create a a dry, almost match-like thing that can actually soak up a lot of.、Um, Olive oil or animal fat, and then after it's soaked, it can be put on a almost candle-like stand thing here. Later, I would show you a photo of that、um, that tool or that furniture, and they can actually be used just like a candle, and they can also last for several hours if burnt properly. Once again, thank you for watching, and I am not going to be uploading any videos for the next five days since I'm not going to be at home and I don't have access to that video editing software.